Welcome back guys to episode 14 of my hardcore Iron Man series and I'm going to be starting this off by getting 75 fishing and I also accomplished over 1400 total so I have been fishing for the past three three or so days so this is the loot from all that 7132 monkfish over the past few days now I am completely done with the raids on my main I just don't have good gear on it but but now i'm going to be getting the black mask so hopefully we get that sooner than later and then i can go and move on to other things so yeah oh my god this caught me completely off guard black mask finally oh my god let's go check how many kill count i had to get for this it, i think it's over 700 oh forgot to refill this but i think it's over 700 all right and here we go let's check our kill count 803 kill count for the black mask so that's pretty good uh, a bit over the uh, the drop rate, but I'm happy. I finally have it, and now we can go back to Slayer. And the first kill back from Cave Horrors, we get the Runite Lambs. Oh god, don't, don't, don't kill me, don't kill me now. So I went ahead and got Orange Spices. I've currently added two into this stew, so that we're going to create our Runite Crossbow. We need 69, and let's see if we get 69. Will we do it? Plus three. Oh, perfect. Come on. You need a hammer to do that? Get a hammer. 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 Eh. Yes. We have our rude crossbow. Beautiful. Can I even? You need at least 61 range to wield that. Sometime during this kill, I will be getting my defense up to 70, which is where I'm going to be stopping to train uh, defense. I'm going to be training strength all the way to whenever I get a whip, and then from then on, I will be using controlled. After this task, I'm going to try out barrows because, you know, why not try out barrows and see if my luck is good. So this video will have some barrows content in it for once. Okay, so I completed that greater demons task. Now let's see what we get next. Bloodfelds, perfect, but we are going to be doing those a bit later because I want to try out Barrows. So I'm going to go get geared up and actually I'm going to go get 61 range beforehand. Or am I? I don't know. Got him! Okay, so we have arrived at Barrows. Now I haven't actually done Barrows in a really, really long time. So we're just going to hope for the best and see how we do. Okay, and one Barrows brother down. I want to pick up that broad bolt again. Pick it up. I I picked up a monkfish. There we go. Let's go on to you know what? Let's try out uh, Toreg. Let's see if we can get the um, the safe spotting method down. Okay, we killed another brother. Let's go on to the next one, which I guess I don't know if I want to try Darok, but I'm gonna go for uh, Tor for Verak. Sorry. I'm gonna go for Verak. Oh, and that's our tunnel. Okay, so we have a Verak tunnel, so let's go and do all the other ones and hopefully not die. And Darok down. That was, I was kind of scared of that one, but eh, easy kill. Moving on to Guthans. And Guthans down. Okay, so I'm gonna take on Aram, but I'm going to actually use a Prey Pot for this one because I don't really know how good Aram is because I don't know. So let's go and do that and see if we don't die. Okay, and Aram's down. I used two prey doses on that, but that's okay. Uh, I've got tons in the bank, so that's that's really not a problem. So now let's go on to. Wait, I've killed them all. Okay, let's go to Varak again. Oh, hello there, Varak. I don't really want to fight you in there. I'd much rather have you at like a safe spot room, but. Let's just run past you. I don't I don't care. Hit me all you want. I don't care about you. Typically I would want Varak to spawn in here because there is a an invisible ladder here. So watch this. I'm gonna get this uh blood room into a safe spot right now. See? Like each corner of Barrows has like a ladder. Like mine is over there where I entered from, but technically every single corner has a ladder right here. So Basically what you do is you try and get your Barrow's brother to spawn in one of these rooms and you just kind of safe spot it behind here. So that's the strategy if you guys wanted to know, but um, yeah. You know what? Screw it. Let's open the chest. 
And I, and I, I, no, I meant to click behind it. That's a shame. And I also don't really have a good TP out of here. So uh, I'm just going to TP out. Let's, let's re-gear. Let's get this started. I did not mean to open that chest, but <laughs> I did anyways. All right, and let's see what our second chest will give us. I've killed all six brothers, and actually I'm only 94%. Let's get that last 4%. All right, and 100% rewards potential. Let's see what we get. Uh, nope. Chest number three is... Nothing! And here we are for the next chest. Nothing. Chest number five. Nothing. You know, it's times like this that I wish my hunter was 99. And here we are with chest number six. And we got we got a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. Uh, and the next chest will be... Oh, I'm getting attacked by a skeleton. Let's go. Nothing. I'll probably just be doing three more chests then ending this video off. So let's go do that and then I will... Here we are with chest number eight. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Number nine. Nothing. All right, and for the final chest of this video, hopefully we get something good. Dude, we just made bank. So I'm going to be ending this video off here. Now you might be wondering why I am back at Piscatoris fishing monkfish. Well, that's because yesterday I bought H1Z1, King of the Kill. So I've basically spent a lot of time playing that so far. I'm really enjoying it. And on the side, I've just been AFKing fishing. So, so there may not be a lot of progress on this account for this week, but I probably will get 99 fishing in like a couple days, so uh, yeah. So anyways, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, please subscribe, please give this video a like, and I will see you guys, I don't know.